Hey guys, Lissa here, and today I am going to do a guide on how to play the newest hero, Captain Yodora. Captain Yodora has a lot of um, power, one of the top heroes right now, and a lot of questions about when do you start digging? Do you dig turn one or do you not dig turn one? And in my opinion, yes, you always dig turn one. And so let's talk about that. So for those who do not know, her hero power is dig for a golden minion. And there's four digs left. So you you have four turns to press the button for one gold. And after four turns, you're given a golden minion of your tier or lower. So if you start doing this turn one and you hit the button turn two, three, four, you basically, you basically spend four gold, a four gold investment on a nine gold minion because a nine gold, it's a, you get a golden minion, so that would normally cost you nine gold. It would normally cost you more because you would have to roll for a triple. And you're only spending four gold on that. The sooner you can start investing, the better, in my opinion, because then you can make the most investments. You can usually get three, uh, sometimes only two, depending. But basically the way I play this out is turn one, I always dig. If you're offered a token, that is the best because you can buy the token, sell the token, and hero power. Um, you can also buy the 2-2 pirate, sell it just to um, make it cheaper to level hero power, something like that. Uh, if you look at HS Replay, of all players, about 45% hero power turn 1, 46%, and top 50, 49% do, so a little bit more. Uh, I can't see at the higher percentages, more than 20%, 52% your power turn one in the top 20%. So you can see it climbs at higher ratings. So I'm not really sure how the top five or 1% perform, but I would guess the hero power turn one. I forgot to mention that if you are not offered a token turn one, still hero power and use that extra two gold to roll for another token to freeze. So you're gonna hear a power turn one. You're gonna hear a power turn two, turn three, turn four. You're gonna hear a power every turn until a point so turn one hero power turn two hero power and buy a minion if you had bought the two two pirate the turn before you could level and hero power instead but for the most part you're gonna hero power buy a minion on your four gold turn on your five gold turn you need to level you need to be at at two tier two and you need hero power and on the four gold turn is when you have six gold. So again, you need to level. It's going to cost six to level. So you need to sell your minion you have and hero power. And that way you're giving up to a tier three golden minion on turn four, which is your six gold turn. So you should have at least one golden minion. It could be anywhere between tier one and tier three. Hopefully it's a good one. And then you get to discover a four drop. Obviously, a really good four drop to discover as Yodora is Gold Grubber because you already have a golden minion. So how could it be bad, right? It's, you're, it's already going to start growing. But um, there's some other things you could pick, obviously, for tempo. I like to think of this hero as a slightly delayed AFK, but AFK doesn't get to level where Yodora does get to level. And so that's why she's so powerful. By turn six gold, you have two minions, one being um, a golden minion and one being a tier four minion. So that's pretty powerful. After that, you're gonna stay on tavern tier three for two turns. And uh, you're gonna be trying to just build your minions around what you were given. So you could either build it around the golden minion that you got if that was good or you could build it around the tavern tier four minion that you got or you could just buy tempo cards that are just the best cards there so for two turns on seven gold and eight gold you're gonna be staying on three to build up your board then on um then on turn seven which is nine gold you are going to be leveling buying a minion here powering and then the next turn, on turn eight, you are again going to be leveling and hero powering because you'll have enough to level and hero power after so you can get up to a tavern tier five minion. On turn eight, you can, you're gonna have up to a tavern tier five golden minion and then you get to discover a six drop. So 
it's just so powerful to start hero power in turn one because then by turn eight you literally have a six drop in the game you can have a boat so that's why i like to uh hit the hero power turn one um you can see the best builds is dragon macabies murlocs but honestly eudora can go kind of anywhere based on what you're given you really want to just build around that golden minion or around the minion you discovered from the higher tier um now you want to hear power every turn but you're going to stop at a certain point and that's usually around the time that you don't think it's gonna last four more turns if you don't think the game is gonna go four more turns you should probably stop hero powering so maybe if there's only three heroes left in the game something like that if there's just like 1v1 and you both have low health not worth hero powering but if you think that you that this is kind of a grindy lobby that you're in then just keep on hero powering because it's such a good investment and you can again get up to a six drop then on your third one and discover another six drop so super powerful highly suggest you Dora she is the second best hero right now right behind hook tusk so and i would i think she's more fun than than hook tusk so <laughs> highly recommend picking her uh i'm going to show you guys a game that i played with eudora if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the thumbs up leave a comment with other videos you'd like to see other guides um and make sure you subscribe have a good day bye wow eudora loves me today Dog is not Pyra. This one's Luna. Luna. <gasps> Luna. Hi. Hi. How was your day, Luna? It's okay. I didn't get to sleep well because you're fireworks. You made me scared, Mom. to Yodora. Turn one hero power. If you have a token, make sure you buy the token first. Sell the token before you hear a power. Have a good Yo, Chris, you bought friend. a $300 Lego set? I freaking love Legos. Legos are fun. I've been Legoed since I was a kid, but I, I would Lego to this day. What about turn two? Good question. What do you do turn two with your door, chat? The battle is really you have two options. You could level and sell in hero power, or if you're offered a token, you could buy the token in hero power. But always be digging. Never skip dig day. Never ever skip dig day. Now the next two turns, we need to be leveling because we want to be on level three by the time we hear a power our fourth turn so we must live a power or sorry we must level next turn and a turn after keep up the momentum friend. two turns of leveling The battle is really raging out there. <laughs> All right. So next turn, you level, sell the token, and hear power. So no point in freezing. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah. I need to show them that. <coughs> there. Well, we're going to be leveling to three. So if I froze this, then I'm not buying anything next turn because I'm leveling to three next turn. And then the turn after that, I want three drops because I'm on three. So I'd have to double freeze for two drops instead of like looking for threes once I'm on threes. Welcome back. How's it going out there? You're down a minion and up a gold. I don't force pirates. I just want everyone to know that I don't force pirates. They force me. They force me.
They're like streamers, but it's a pirate. I would never. Now this is interesting to freeze for those two. I think it's fair. <laughs> Pirates force me. They just come to me. They're like, slice us. Slice us. Slice six. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, look at your pirates. They're cute. <laughs> They're so little and puny. They're so small. Your minions really pulled their weight. That one might make all the difference. Some ways. Rawr. All right, next turn we can buy more minions. If you don't get token on turn one, do you skip buying minion just to dig? Yes, I do. Cause I want a, a four drop by turn four and I want a six drop by turn eight. So with my, if, if you hear power turn one, you'll have a six drop by turn eight. And like who doesn't want a six drop by turn eight? Me? No? What? I once served a drink to a death knight. It froze over right in his hands. Nova. Keep up the momentum, friend. That's it, puppy. Two puppies now. Would you guys want to see AFK unnerfed? Your minions really oh. hold their weight. That's what I would have picked. Better hire a recruit while you can. It's good to get some minions in play. <laughs> Target practice. Okay. <laughs> I'll have that, really pulled their weight. That one might make all the difference. I'm gonna take the Bran. Uh, I mean, there's potential with Murlocs and Pirates with Bran. I mean, there's a world where you freeze the Felfin. Next turn, you level Hero Power, and you could get a Megasaur, and then you'd want to hear Megasaur the three. Yup. 
Yep. We are. Let's see yeah, have you guys ever seen Murloc on a boat? Like with all the Murloc, they're all like crazy on the boat. On top. Yeah. That's what we are right now. We're a Murloc run cruise ship of pirates. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, my dog wants to come inside. But I'm gonna be busy this turn. Blizzard's next expansion is going to be both with Merlock. <laughs> nice work out there. Oh. Keep up the Filthy pirate forcer. I would never force pirates, okay? They force me. They force me. Watch out. <laughs> oh, we have the same comp. Can you not? Hit that. <laughs> Mr. Nasty, how are you? How much did I pay, Bob? I would never. I would never. It's my boat. <laughs> I think you can win this thing. It's my boat. What are we selling? Selling the knot paddle and the golden get in. This is a free thing. I don't know, we didn't really fit this other hogger. I don't think we need to concern ourselves with it yet. We definitely need to sell. some damage better hire a recruit while you can i 
I like where you're going with this. Better hire a recruit while you can. I love catching some ways. Go big or go home, I always say. A good tactical choice. Ha! You want a tuto? Go big or go home, I always say. I think you can win this thing. Mm -hmm. Now play another hogger. We just do in board space. And like, if we, if we, if we put it in, we have to get rid of the value of the boat. And there's a good chance we don't even use the full EPM turn, and then you're gonna lose value. I'd rather find another triple hogger first. If I was holding them. Basically, you have to weigh out your APM versus like the value of the boat. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. Make all the difference. Oh. That one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. Some way. That'll do some damage. Murloc. Right there. All right, kill thing. Oh, <laughs> good. Oh, good. I've got some fresh recruits for you. That one might make all the difference. That one might make all the difference. You guys don't like that? 
So we're facing pirates. And Zap can encounter some stuff in pirates. I think this is right. You know, I think you could win this whole thing. Yeah, you can like hit boat. You can kill this if it's low enough. How we? Hmm. What's up, glistening viper? How are you? There we go. Yeah, we're stronger. More hoggers! There's the, all the hoggers. <laughs> oh, that's a golden boat right there, isn't it? Don't be good! Oh. Bad, but... Alright. So oh, it's... My Ev was... Also pirate. Dang. But lost, and we're facing my Ev, I think. Nice work out there. <gasps> no, I bought that one. <laughs> oh no! Dummy! The odds are in my favor. I'll clean you up. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. One of these recruits. I think it's still frozen the Murz on since we're facing another pirate player. It's there. Not the strongest, but it'll fight hard. <laughs> I love catching some waves.
my best. <laughs> I tried my best. My phone isn't good enough. Ruining my pirates. 